Turning now to your first alert forecast, morning temperatures are taking a bit of a dip for the next couple of days. Meteorologist Tony Chevaroli joins us now in the first alert weather center. And Tony, I know that those temperatures might rise in the later part of the day. It's going to be about just those positive changes. And uh, that's, of course, something, Jordan, we can always look forward to starting everyone out with the humble beginnings of the day. But we have a lot of sun to look forward to. All right. Love to see it. And the weekend. Everyone's looking to the weekend, too. It's going to be warmer, but I do have a shake up to talk about here, Jordan, as we look onward. Now, of course, let's get through the humble beginnings of these days. A lot of people are just starting out their day, you know, trying to get themselves together. Maybe remember what it's going to be like out there. You know, sometimes you wake up a little bit of a fog. Let's see what we have right now. It is 615 as we start. Yeah, looking pretty good. Rolling along I-77 right now. Going to be seeing a lot of temperatures back into that realm of upper 30s and lower 40s. Not the chilliest kickoff to the day, but we are seeing that wind that makes things a little bit colder. Right now we're seeing into Columbia a wind registering seven miles an hour out of the northeast. You know, not too bad, but that will set up for a wind chill around 39 degrees. So, you know, a few degrees colder is what the feel is as opposed to the actual temperature. And that's what I want you to remember as we go through this day, because that wind will continue to churn up even as the sun rises up and gives us a beautiful sunrise and we continue into the blue skies today. But we're still going to continue to feel a little bit colder than it actually is. That sunshine will be very necessary for us today. So while we keep steady with that, with the chilly morning starts, like we haven't seen plenty of those already this winter, let's keep on into the day. Going into this morning, not the coldest start of the week, but we're still cold with that breeze. Into the afternoon, breeze hangs in there. We get the actual high temperature in the upper 50s. Beauty of a day with the feel-like temp that high. Likely only going to be feeling like Low 50s, still not bad. Enjoy the day. Still a good Tuesday as we're staying dry here. We're keeping steady with that. We bump on to Wednesday morning. OK, what's happening here? We still see this gust potential out of the north and east, so that doesn't completely go away. And this is where we really got to factor in that wind chill because the actual temp tomorrow morning will be around 30. So that wind chill, oh, you know, it's easily going to be in the mid 20s. So cold kickoff tomorrow. Need to even be bundling up a little bit more. Prepare for that accordingly. Afternoon hours, though, yet again, winds are dying down a bit. Sunshine holds steady, and we likely see the same high temperature. I'm going 58 for today and tomorrow. A very uh, similar boat for both of these afternoons, where barely a cloud will be in the sky. Now going to Thursday, here's a little bit of a change of pace. Not the biggest of one, though, because we still start out that morning with temperatures near 30 and frost potential. We likely see the best frost potential here. Got to watch out for that for your Thursday start near 30, but we could double that up into the afternoon because we still get partly cloudy skies, but winds that will be back out of the south. So biggest temperature switch up likely will be there into Thursday. Not the, of course, you know, biggest jump at the high temperature, but still impressive nonetheless. And either way you slice it, as long as you're dressed appropriately, not too much of this matters. You bundle yourselves up, right? You get out there and enjoy Enjoy the sun. You have a pair of shades and uh, hitting the road for those travels. Whether, of course, it's going to be heading out to the store or to work or for something just much more leisurely, it's going to be a great day for you. Overnight, we get back to lows near 30 degrees. Yes, temperature tumbles, chilly conditions. We see that for two straight days and got to watch out, of course, for a little bit more of that wind chill, even more so tomorrow morning and then that better frost potential on Thursday morning. So, you know, February is still here very much in the first week. But uh, we're going to be getting a bit of a switch up. If you need some highs near 70, I'm, we're looking pretty good with that as we get towards the weekend. But that's where we see more winds out of the south and some moisture that will try to push its way back into the Midlands.